What's going on guys? Failed to listen. Welcome back to more failed thoughts and in this video I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about G-Sync and how I feel about this and my experience with this and the new monitor and I would probably have to say if you're on AMD hardware this video is going to be all kinds of irrelevant to you unless maybe you're considering upgrading or switching to Nvidia at some point maybe I can help you do that but there are tons of other videos out there talking Nvidia and G-Sync and probably much more in depth than I'm going to get this is this is going to be very very simple but I think one of the most annoying things in all of gaming is probably screen tearing some people are a lot less sensitive to stuff like that than I am but I am very sensitive to it I can't stand it I know it when I see it and uh, G-Sync just completely rids my gaming experience completely of that and I am beyond satisfied I am beyond satisfied that's one of the things that I was worried about you know going with a monitor that would have been much much cheaper um, that has 144 one millisecond so on and so forth whether it was 1080p or 1440p but no g-sync the g-sync monitors the some of the boxes that didn't get ticked with this monitor was IPS and and yes I very much did want to go 1440p but there are I want to say there's like maybe three or four if that maybe just two solid ones that offer 1440p 144 hertz one millisecond uh, G-Sync did I say that already and IPS and those two monitors one of them is an Asus monitor and the other one's an Acer monitor and both of them especially the Asus one have quality control issues from my understanding uh, with IPS and 144 Hertz right now there are some issues apparently um, some some kinks that need to be worked out and I'm sure they will be in the next year or two and you know monitors that come out 1440p 1080p 144 Hertz IPS and G-Sync they'll probably be a lot better than what's available now including my monitor obviously when it comes to PC stuff you can never have the best anything you might as well forget about it if you even if you bought one of those seven or eight hundred dollar monitors or there's like another Asus that's really nice um, the ultra wide one that's like twelve hundred dollars forget about it in like six months to a year like you know what you have is is going to be I don't want to say garbage but it's going to be considered outdated right not like not necessarily bad like people have this idea that oh if you're on old hardware of any kind whether you're talking monitors CPUs or GPUs if if it's a year or two old it's garbage you're on you're on old chit you know what I mean so that's that's like silly thinking because like in no disrespect to the people that were trying to help me but there were some people maybe I misunderstood that were saying ah oh, there's no point in getting like a 6600k or a 6700k right now because it's a year old and the new stuff is about to drop yes but that that old stuff that's a year old is still very good and uh, they've they've pretty much perfected some of the the motherboards and stuff at this point whereas when the new when the new CPUs come out they're going to be really nice but it's probably going to take a couple of months 2 3 4 months for there for there to be some really good uh, motherboards for those uh, ones that I would like and ones that I would prefer anyway I'm not saying there's not going to be decent motherboards out of the gate but we'll just have to wait and see I'm spending too much time talking about that there are there are some things more so than a new CPU more so than you know getting that really nice 770 that I had the 4 gig one or even jump into the 980 Ti those were really nice upgrades but there are three other things maybe four now maybe three things three other things that made um, had a much bigger impact on me as a gamer in my gaming experience and that was moving from uh, hard drives to SSDs uh, getting a sound card over motherboard sound I, I've also considered DAC and amp to see how much of a difference there is there from a, a, a good sound card and now with this monitor one 144 Hertz one millisecond and the g-sync it's just a I have to agree with that neo gaff thread I, I think it said something like the title was you know g-sync is a god level gaming upgrade and it really is especially like I said if, if you're sensitive to a, a lot of that stuff like screen tearing it's it's really really going to help one thing <clears throat> and I don't know if I I don't know if I mentioned this in another video but one thing that I've noticed since playing it, you know, 90, 100 FPS and, and higher is that 
my GPU gets loud. Like this thing is ridiculously loud now. And it's, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's bothering me a little bit. It's, it worries me that I'm, I'm going to like mess up my hardware and it's going to like go to chit in six months to a year or something, because I'm just like demanding so much from it, but it's so worth it. You know, I mean, the card's under warranty, so it's totally fine, but like, it's so worth it to play and have those extra frames and have the G-Sync and stuff. I just, I can't stress it enough. Those things, SSDs, um, improving your sound, whether it's through sound card or a, a DAC and amp type setup and a monitor that can do 144, you know, maybe you're a little less sensitive to stuff like screen tearing, or maybe you don't see it as much as someone like myself and, and having like a, a free sync or a G sync monitor isn't super important. And you just want to get that 144 Hertz. There's a lot cheaper options out there that will do you just fine if, if that's all you're looking for and that's what's important right like those things like i said and i know it sounds crazy some of you are nah man getting a new gpu is hey getting a new gpu and a new cpu is awesome don't get me wrong like kid in a candy store kid at christmas however you want to put it like that stuff is really exciting but like just to even though it the at first, the the initial excitement from getting an SSD or a sound card or a new monitor isn't isn't quite as awesome as those other things. Over time, oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Over time, you start to realize like this was much more worth it. This was a much better upgrade, um, and something I should have done a long time ago over a new CPU or a new GPU. But then again, it just kind of depends on like you know how old your system is. Like if you're still you know on a system from like you know, 2008, 2009, like trying to play some of the latest games or something, you're probably pulling your hair out. But uh, yeah, SSDs, sound card, monitor that can do 144 and G-Sync is, uh, yeah, it's it's been really, really special. And I, I can't recommend it enough. If, if you can spend the extra money, a lot of people are going to accuse me of stealth bragging, I'm sure. Orbit, if you watch this video, he's going to accuse me of stealth bragging. Totally not stealth bragging. That is a thing. If you've never heard that before, stealth bragging is a thing where somebody will talk about how awesome their PC is or how awesome their new TV or their car is or something. And sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it. But yeah, you're, you're stealth bragging. But in this video, I'm just trying to help. If you have the extra money, um, this stuff is totally worth it. 144 G-Sync, one millisecond response time. It's crazy. It's crazy. Everything just like... Even, I don't, and I don't think I talked about this in the other videos, even just like navigating around windows and opening things up feels and looks so much better and it's so much more responsive. I, I can't, I can't, it, unless you experience it for yourself, it's really hard to explain, but God level gaming upgrade for sure. SSDs, sound card, monitor, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's crazy. So that's my video. That's my take. Those are my thoughts and, you know, at some point I may do like an actual full review for this monitor and talk about it, you know, a lot more in depth or something. I don't know. That's not really my thing. This isn't quite a tech channel. Not yet. Not sure if it ever will be. This is a gaming channel. We talk games and news and I do reviews and stuff. It's not really my thing. So you might want to go watch Jay's Two Cents or Hardware Canucks or something like that if you're if you're looking for those, because those guys, I don't, I don't think they really do game reviews or, or talk about the games themselves very much. So, uh, yeah, man, not not like we do, not, not like in this community. So that's my video. That's my take. Thank you guys again for the continued support. And you guys have been really awesome and patient with me, man. And I do appreciate that again. Thank you very much. You guys take it easy. Have a good weekend. Peace.